Hello, and welcome to this introductory walkthrough of Omniverse Farm. To begin, Omniverse Farm is a distributed processing toolkit. Omniverse Farm can dole out all sorts of tasks to one or many computers on your network. Virtually any task you ask of an Omniverse app, external app, script, command, or executable on your machine can be offloaded. With a little basic scripting, it is easy to throw render tasks at your best GPU resources and simulation or other processing tasks at your CPU resources. In subsequent tutorials, we will explore such processes, but today, let's start with the basics. As many users in the Omniverse will immediately want to utilize form-based rendering, the Movie Capture extension available in kit-based apps is pre-configured for use with form. So let's render an animation and use this simplified workflow to use Omniverse form to distribute the job. Should be a fun way of learning your way around the various components and how to do a valuable distributed task. All right, now please note that I am using Omniverse Create for this demo. However, Omniverse Farm will work similarly alongside any other kit-based apps like Vue, Machinima, and others. Technically, as long as the Movie Capture extension is enabled in your kit-based app, you are ready to proceed. Okay, with that out of the way, we can see here that I have this really cool scene. If I hit play, we can see that I have a short camera sweep to animate. I'd like to render this at movie quality. It would be just dandy if I could save time by using my laptop to help with the render tasks. But how exactly would we do that in Omniverse? If we jump into the rendering tab and head down to movie capture, we can see here that we can submit to a queue. But then over here it is saying we need a queue. We just need to set up a form queue. Now knowing what we need to accomplish, let's jump over to Omniverse Launcher and select the exchange tab. Then let's type in form to locate the agent and queue applications. We will need them both on our host machine, so let's install them now. Great, now that we have all the tools installed, let's pop over to farm queue and see what we have. As you will likely notice, the farm queue is really just a small panel. However, this diminutive interface hides the fact that this computer is now a host for doling out all sorts of jobs to one or many clients. Now, to access this server, the URL bar gives you the names and addresses of the networks you are on. Note, localhost will always be available to the host and only the host, but whatever network addresses you are on should be listed here. For myself, I know I want to use my home network. So this is the network accessible address for my LAN network. Any other machines I will want to have access this queue will need this address. Okay, moving down a little, we can see that there's this large green open dashboard button. Let's go ahead and click that. Now, as you can see, we have been brought over to a web browser with the address HTTP colon localhost 8222Q management UI. However, if I replace localhost with the address of my machine, 192.168.1.117, we will see that we land on the same page. So the cool thing here is the address is on your network and is available to anyone interested in the current queue status. Okay, so understanding that we have an accessible queue, notice that currently there are no clients and no tasks. To remedy this lack of clients, let's now open up Farm Agent from the launcher. Once opened, click Connect to connect to the host. You should now see confirmation of connected in the bottom right of the panel. Switching to the dashboard, we should see this new agent is now listed. Okay, so now all we need is a task to do. Obviously, distributing to your own computer is not very helpful, but a successful, locally executed task would prove our tools are working. If we have trouble with a remote machine connecting later, we can be sure any issues lie outside our host and are likely with our network or firewall settings. Let's go create a task. For that, let's jump back into Create and reopen our movie capture panel. We should now notice that the localhost network was found and is ready for use. Next, we need to select a drive location accessible to all the clients. Though not required, Nucleus makes this easy. So I'll choose a folder on one of my Nucleus servers accessible from both machines. Okay, all set. Let's now hit the send to queue button.
Now, over in Farm, we can watch the progress move through its stages in the dashboard. Once complete, we can now navigate to and download the output as needed. It will be in the directory you selected for output in the previous steps. You have successfully sent your first distributed task in Omniverse. This is technically everything there is to the entire process. Really, the only thing left is to install the agent on other machines and connect. Let's walk through adding a remote machine now. But bear in mind, this process will be repeated for any additional remote machines. I'm now on my laptop. This laptop is connected to my LAN and is on the same 192 network as my main computer. And the farm agent is already installed. Note that I have no need for another queue as we have one running on our host. Okay, so all I need to do is launch agent. Now, all I have to do is type the 192 address of my host and follow it with colon 8222 and then hit connect. You should see that you are now connected to the host. As mentioned earlier, we can see if our client is registering on the host by navigating to the host dashboard. Simply open a browser and enter the host IP address followed by colon 8222 forward slash Q forward slash management forward slash UI and hit return. You should now see two agents shown. Wonderful. We are all set for our last test. Back on my host computer and in create. I will again send to Q using movie capture. This time, however, we need to increase the batch size to two as we now have two agents and wish to split the job up between them. Okay, all the rest of the settings should be the same. Let's go ahead and send to the queue. Looking at the dashboard, we can see the progress again and see that both agents are active and working. So that about covers the introduction to Omniverse form. Hopefully this simple task gets you excited and intrigued about Omniverse distributed computing. Thank you for watching and look out for additional tutorials on distributed workloads in the near future. All right, bye-bye for now.